video I record this year is going to start with the, my, uh, my footsteps walking from the computer. All right. Number three. So number three, uh, well, how do you find the perimeter of anything? That's right, class. You add up all the sides. And so we know how long two of the sides are. We know that one of them is the square root of 205, and one of them is the square root of 208. But what about that other one, which I believe is BC? So it says, use the method of your choice. Um, Andy, what method did you use? You could use the distance formula. Did anybody use a different method? Hannah? Pythagorean theorem. Okay. And I'm not going to work through that again, but you should end up with the square root of 117. If you knew what you were doing, it was probably a little mistake. Okay. sounds like it, but I'll, I'll, I'll look at it in a second. Okay. okay. Um, so that's how long this side is. The square root of 117 by whichever method you prefer. And what we want to do is use our trusty calculator and add these together and get a decimal. So you might remember from algebra class, you can't just take the square root of 117 and 205 and 208 and add those numbers together and get... 530, it's not the square root of 530, that's not how adding uh, radicals works. They're not like terms. The only way to do it in a meaningful way is just to put it in your calculator. And so if you do that, you'll get something pretty close to 39.6. And if you rounded before and then added the numbers together, I think you'd get 39.5. So either of those is fine. Okay, uh, so for as far as grading purposes here, first off, if you got the wrong answer on one of these first two, but then you did everything right on number three, don't count off again. So like if you got the square root of 171 for the first term, for the first answer, and that makes this like 34 instead of 39, don't recount off purposes. Uh, okay, questions there? Well, so you can't actually like count these sides because they're at a they're at an angle, right? And so how like how far how far is it really when you go across one box? It's not just one because it's at an angle. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, good question. Okay, now we can talk about equations of lines and those things. So were the last two questions a little harder than the first? Two, three, or those were the good ones. Okay. So, to pick an equation uh, to use, remember we had three different ways we could write the equation of a line, um, at least three that we gave names. What's one of those? Point slope. What's another one? Slope intercept. What's another one? Okay. So, which one do we have the right information for here? We have the right information for point slope. We have a point. We actually have two points. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Just pick one. And then we don't know the slope specifically, although you might have more or less found it when you were when you made your right triangle to find the square root of 117. And so we can find the slope without much trouble at least. Okay? So point slope should be the best option. That's y minus y1 equals n times x minus x1. So what's a point that this line goes through? Now, here's where if you have the other copy of the quiz, your answer is going to look a little bit different, but we'll see if you can follow along. So we're talking about the line BC. 
So I want to use one of these two points, either B or C. Those are the two that are on the line. I'm going to use 73, which would be 84 on the other uh, copy of this. Okay. So the point I'm going to use is 84. You could have used another point. That's fine. And I need to calculate the slope. So you might remember the slope is the rise over the run. If I have a graph, I can just count. You have some for the grade with? So what's my rise here? Six. And what's my run? It is nine. So the slope is the rise over the run. And remember, you can also calculate it if you really need to with this old formula. Some of us tried to use that to find the distance on the first day. But we can also just count. So the change in the y values is 6. The change in the x values is 9. And that should be true no matter which, uh, no matter which point you're using or no matter which version of the quiz you have. And of course, that reduces to what? And it's a positive slope. It's going up as you go from left to right. So positive two-thirds. So we have our slope. And we have a point. Therefore, we should be able to write out point-slope form without having to think very hard. Now remind me, this 8 and this 4, these numbers, do they go in for the, uh, for the naked y and x? Or do they go in for the subscript y and x? Good. They go in for the subscripts x1 and y1. And so that's where I'm going to put the 8 and the 4. Of course, 8 is the x value, so make sure you put it in for x1. So it'll be x minus 8. The slope, of course, is m. That's 2 thirds. And then y minus, and then y1, based off of the point that I decided to use, is 4. So it's y minus 4. So this is an equation that describes the line BC. It's by no means the only equation that describes the line BC. Um, yours may have looked different. They should all have the same slope, though. But if you use a different point, of course, you'll have different numbers here. So I'm just going to have to trust your judgment uh, whether you did that correctly or not. And I do. Any questions about grading that? If you messed up on like a minus sign or something like that, make sure. Um, if you had no idea what you were doing, probably. Okay. So that's one way to represent this line as an equation, Bailey. Sure. Now, we could move it, and the reason we would do that is if we, say, wanted to put this equation into another form. So which form is it where we, where we try and get the y by itself? When we get the y by itself, we get y equals mx plus b. And which one is that? Yeah, that's, that's slope intercept form. And so that's actually, since you mentioned it, one of the ways you could find, for number five, a different equation that describes the same line. So one of the things you could do is solve it for y. That gives you a different equation, uh, but it's the same line. OK, so if you did that, that would be fine. Did anybody, how many of you all did that? That's OK. Yeah. Uh, didn't it, did anybody do something different to find a different equation? Did anybody maybe use point slope equation again, but switch points to the other point that was on the line? There's another thing we could do. That would give you a different equation, <coughs> but it's the same line. Um, does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Uh 
Sounds like you probably got at least halfway there. So. It sounds like you got it at least part right. It sounds like half. Yeah, that's my my gut judgment. Huh? You use what? And so how did you know what the liner says what? So, w wouldn't you have to have this equation first before you can actually solve that? Oh, 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 sorry. I was thinking of little b and y. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you can use either point there. And that's actually another way that you could get a different equation. So that would be fine. Okay. So... If you did something, if you came up with some different equation, uh, you could also put it in standard form to answer number five, although that would be more work than most of the other tools you could do. So any of those things would be fine. Just some different equation that also describes that line we see. I'll trust your judgment on that as well. And if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. So there are six problems. So count up what you got. Or even easier, subtract out what you got wrong. Subtract it from six. And put some kind of grade on there. So perhaps you made a 4.75 out of six. Something like that. And you probably remember how to turn that into like a normal looking grade, right? If you wanted to know like out of 100. Yeah. Just type in your calculator, divide. That'll give you a more normal looking grade. So you know how to feel about it. How should I feel about 4.75 out of 6? Well, maybe you're not sure. So tap in your calculator. Sorry.